So, I had a couple of people asking for some recipes on my Facebook, and this is one of my favorite protein recipes that I make. It's a variation of Sam Turnbull's. She's with, it doesn't taste like chicken. I love her stuff. And it originally has 42 grams of protein, 22 grams of carbs, um, four grams of fat, and 295 grams of calories. Grams of calories. Just calories. And my variation has one gram of fat, 10 grams of carbs, and 21 grams of protein. I've cut it from four servings to 16 so that I have a little bit more variation. I can eat more food throughout the day and stay fueled instead of all at one sitting. So here's the ingredient. Got some lentils, tomato paste. I use liquid aminos. She calls for soy sauce. I use fresh ground peppercorn, chili powder, ripe liquid smoke. I love this stuff. And mesquite is the way to go, guys, for real. Um, Badia, I use for my garlic and onion powders. Anthony's is my nutritional yeast and vital wheat gluten. And we also need some water, which this time I use the lentil water. So we're going to see how that plays out. I like to use red lentils. They look brown when they're cooked, though. Normally I would weigh everything out, but I'm so tired today. Um, so I weigh it out for you guys. So I just went ahead and weighed everything out. Everything is ready to go. Um, I'll post the recipe in the comments or in the description. The description. That's how it works. I'm learning. I'm figuring it out. Um, and then... Yeah. So I put all my... liquids and tomato paste together and all of my solids together and always use the bio wheat gluten last and I put my lentils in first that way they're just ground up a little bit and then I'll put my liquids and powders in um, that way they get mixed in and lastly I'll add the flour the Oh, we gluten. Okay, let's see how it goes. It's gonna be loud, so I'll be right back. I like to let it go for a while and then scrub it down. Beep, beep, beep. Kind of reminds me of bean paste or refried beans. Also, my recipes are double. That's why there's so many. Like, it's not a 
normal recipe cut into four into yeah into sixteen. Um, it's just a double normal recipe and then divide it into sixteen. Um, I guess it's probably like 42 grams of protein. It was a bit much. And eventually, at this stage, ouch, touch my fingers. The baby food stage. It looks like baby food. It's kind of achy. I always scrape down this centerpiece because you can see the stuff gets stuck to it. And then around the red ridges and edges, just kind of scrape it down back into the bowl that way you can get all the good stuff out of it okay so this is where the magic happens we add this magic flour to this concoction and somehow or another it becomes meat has this little stuff in the bottom. So I take it out, clean that up. And then there's usually some stuff in the bottom down here. Take that out. I like that. Just kind of stretch it, put it around all three, all the sides, best you can. And go just a little bit longer. <laughs> Flat surface and knead it just a couple of times just to bring it together like bread dough. And then weigh it out, split it up in the four, twelve, sixteen. Sixteen equal parts. Side note. Make sure and lay down a little bit of the vitamin gluten because this shit, ouch, my hand, this stuff gets sticky. And if you don't lay it down, it's gonna stick to everything. Everything. Trust me. 
also, about this time, you should get a steamer pot and put some water on the boil to steam these. I like to wrap mine in tin foil. I found the texture to be a lot better, personally. Um, the original recipe does not say to do this. To each to their own, in my opinion. And then you just kind of like work them a little bit, all the little fibers. I like to watch the little fibers. I have found that the more you play with it, the more steak-like it is. But I've also found that if you overwork it, it's not really good either. So there's kind of a balance and I think it depends on everybody. Everybody seems to like what I do, which is, that's pretty much it. And then you grab your little tin foil. If you want to use it, you can wrap them any way you want. Just make sure that the ends are sealed so that they can steam and that there's a little bit of room that they can tough up a little bit because they will rise kind of like bread. Um, let's get them all wrapped. Okay, another reason 
I really like putting them in this envelope is because we have to steam them. So you can just kind of pile them in nice and neatly. And you don't have to worry about them sticking to each other. You don't have to worry about them needing oil so they don't stick to each other. Um, you don't have to turn them halfway through like in Sam's recipe. You can just cook them. I cook them for 30 minutes in the steamer pot and let them sit overnight in a Ziploc bag and tomorrow they would be ready to eat. Super duper simple.